What is Lolita fashion? It certainly is not a part of the common fast fashion worn by the masses. Lolita in the context of fashion refers to a clothing style inspired by the Rococo, Romantic and Victorian periods of the Western countries. And it first started in the streets of Harajuku in Tokyo, Japan. The cuts and styles are similar to those worn by young ladies and the general concept of the subculture is to appear as cute as possible. The Lolita fashion today is a form of self-expression, one that incorporates modesty and the right to appear as we choose, with no intent of attracting the male gaze or adhering to society's idea of mainstream clothing. Lolita fashion today has been around since the 90s and has no relation to the 1950s Russian novel of the name Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. The style goal of Lolita fashion is to blend femininity, sophistication, almost aristocratic looks with whimsical fantasy elements and a dash of cuteness. General characteristics of the Lolita fashion are laces, ruffles, corsets, over-the-top accessories, petticoats and crinoline, which are essential for cute, puffy skirts. Any color can be used in the fashion as there are many subgenre of Lolita fashion. Two most notable style inspirations were drawn from Mary Antoinette and Alice in Wonderland. to speak through some points that catapulted this Japanese fashion to spread across the world. In the 1980s, it started as doll fashion and then the publication of Olive magazine that emphasized the rare value of childhood and maidenhood. Thus, kawaii culture was born. In the 1990s, Lolita fashion was officially born. Visual K rock bands emerged with heavy obsession of visuals with over-the-top aesthetic and feminine makeup. In the year 2000 and onwards, Gothic Lolita subculture emerged, sparked by Japanese band Malice Miser. In 2004, the movie Kamikaze Girls hit the big screen and the Lolita fashion catapulted into an international cultural spotlight. After that, the Gothic and Lolita Bible was first published and became a fashion guide for serious Lolita today. As Lolita fashion spread to the Western world, other newer substyles such as Lollipunk and Country Lolita began to come to life as other cultures began to incorporate their traditional fashion elements into Lolita fashion. And since then, the fashion has only evolved and expanded. Lolita Fashion in Malaysia The Malaysia Lolita Club, MLC, was founded in 2006. During that time, Lolita fashion was difficult to access as there are only dresses from Japan and only a handful of brands that produced them. Such brands were Baby, The Star Shine Bright, BTSSB, Angelic Pretty, AP, Alice and the Pirates, AATP, Atelier Boz, and Royal Princess Alice, just to name a few of the well-known ones. Due to Malaysia's weaker purchasing power against Japanese yen, these brands are considered super expensive. The only Japanese brand that was easily accessible and affordable for Lolita fashion was Bodyline. Yet the quality of the Lolita fashion 
body line produced generally can be a hit or a miss. Around 2010, a legendary shop opened in Berjaya Times Square, Kuala Lumpur, called Eye Socks. The shop carried some bodyline sets, golf and kawaii J fashion merchandise. It was the place to go for some beginner Lolita back then. The president of MLC, Aiko, played a crucial role in helping newbie Lolita fashion enthusiasts procure dresses from Japan. When Taobao, a shopping website from China, started to gain fame and gave more access to Chinese Lolita fashion brands, the MLC president went on to assist members of the community who needed Taobao services, including advice on Lolita styles. MLC held the first Lolita fashion walk at Comic Fiesta 2010 and a second walk for Comic Fiesta 2011. After that, MLC went to host events for the public to get to know more about the fashion and also DIY workshops for fashion accessories. Post-2015, MLC held tea parties with guest Japanese Lolita fashion models, celebrated a 10th year anniversary party and held more gatherings until finally, in 2019, MLC went into an indefinite hiatus. MLC was then succeeded by La Petite Robe led by Yoru and Shiwei as an initiative to support the Lolita fashion community. La Petite Robe translates to the little dress. This name was inspired by the China Lolita fashion enthusiast community, where Lolita dresses are often called Chiao Kunji, meaning my little dress. A small group of close friends who love Lolita fashion founded La Petite Rope together in 2019. LPR's main goal is to organize a Lolita fashion event with a Lolita shopping market. This will provide an opportunity for people to preview and purchase Lolita dresses and accessories physically. Besides that, LPR's mission is to raise awareness of Lolita fashion in Malaysia as there are still people who are not aware of this fashion subculture and often mistake it as cosplay. In the year 2020, like everything else that came to a standstill during the start of the pandemic of COVID-19, LPR2 had to pause most of its physical activities. To cheer up the local Lolita community, La Petite Rope organized an online Lolita coordination contest. After social distancing restrictions were relaxed, LPR had the opportunity to organize some gatherings and Lolita fashion exhibition in AMG 2022. Moving forward into 2023, La Petite Rope still hopes to be able to fulfill goals of taking part in and organizing a Lolita fashion event, a Lolita market, as well as fashion exhibitions. In future, LPR also hopes to one day invite international Lolita influences and brands to LPR events. LPR aspires to be a part of the growing Lolita community in Malaysia to help nurture the Lolita community by organizing gatherings and events where we can gather safely, make friends, share knowledge and information about this fashion, encourage good behavior and appropriate social etiquette and appreciate the aesthetic beauty of Lolita fashion together. Budaya Jepun telah tersebar ke seluruh dunia. Asal dari Jepun, di mana pemakainya memakai baju ala Victoria dan rokok kemuadan. Ini muncul pula fesyen Japanese Lolita yang diadunkan dengan gaya muslimah. Bagi peminat fesyen ini, mereka akan dipanggil Lolitas. What is a hijab? It is a fabric head covering known to be worn by a Muslim woman in an effort to be modest. Since Malaysia is a Muslim country, it is no surprise that some of the ladies who are enthusiastic about Lolita fashion here are hijabis. One such community appeared in 2015, a hijab Lolita society called Pinkustar. This was the very first exclusive hijab Lolita society to be established in Malaysia. Pinku Star was co-founded on the 5th of March 2015 by two ladies, 
Wild Nordiana and Lulu Echa. The co-founders decided to form Pinku Star after coming to the conclusion that Lolita fashion is a covered fashion that can go well with the concept of hijab, as one of the reasons to wear a hijab is to cover as much skin and form as possible. The way a hijab lolita is dressed has been modified from the original lolita fashion to be more modest, which includes wearing a head covering instead of wigs or free hairstyle, putting on pants instead of tights or over-the-knee socks, and making sure the arms are covered until the wrist. In summary, Pinku Star was created in order to show that Lolita can be worn just as well with hijab and look just as adorable. The hijab Lolita was truly something new to Malaysians and considered very unique by the Japanese. Thus, Pinku Star was featured in an interview with local television TVs, Milan and Japanese TV shows. Notable members of Pinku Star were of course the two founders Lulu Echa and Diana, also Yumi, Sammy, and Chibibi. Pinku Star went into hiatus in 2019. Afterwards, a member of Pinku Star, Chibibi, started a Lolita fashion community initiative, the Lolita Tea Party MY LTP, which is inclusive of Hijab Lolita non-hijab lolita members, and beginner lolita fashion enthusiasts. Chibibi is also the administrator of an informal lolita community called the Pro AF Lolitas BAFL, La Petit Robe LPR, and Lolita Tea Party MY LTP were very much active at the time this video was made. Lolita fashion, walk 